you know what? Really appreciate you guys tuning in. And the I, I'm trying to figure out how or how much I want to talk about this Masai Ujiri video that got released last night. And I posted it last night on uh, my social feed on Twitter last night. And last check before we started recording the pod uh, on the feed right now. There's 1.1 million views on the video I posted last night and then 775,000 views on the second video posted last night. And, you know, the thing for me and the reason why I posted the video was because I saw the article and when I went to the article, the video was just embedded in there. And I thought, no, 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 this is something people need to see, not that. If I didn't put it out there, no one would see it. That's not what I'm saying. I just thought this was something that people need to see right now because it was infuriating to me watching the video. And a couple things I want to say. One, if you're on Twitter arguing with bots, just stop. There's no point. And my mentions are, there's people arguing, making arguments for the cops still in my mentions. And I would urge people to not argue with those people because it's not worth it. People who are on here trying to argue something that you're blatantly seeing on film, they're just doing that just because, just to be a pest, just to be an annoyance. And as I stated earlier, a lot of these things, we, we make it so complicated about black and white and racist or not racist or police abusing power, defund the, we make all these things so complicated when as always, it's really simple. It's right versus wrong. And anytime you see that body camera footage and I watched it two times before I actually turned up the volume and then heard the interaction, there's no way you could watch that and not see that the cop is wrong. So there's really no need for dialogue back and forth on this, right? It's just right versus wrong. And this cop is a clown, a straight clown, because, and I don't use that term lightly. I'm not saying that to be funny or anything like that. But when you add in the whole narrative about the cop trying to actually sue Masai Ujiri and, you know, the fact that he's been on workers comp collecting his salary this whole time. Meanwhile, they know they have this body camera footage. It just makes absolutely no sense. But. That's why I say this cop is a clown. And beyond that, I'm not really here for much of a discussion on the video. It's just we as a as a fan base, as a city, as a country, as a basketball community here to show our support of Masai Ujiri because the only thing I could think of while watching that video is how much that would suck in the moment and you can see it in his face as he's trying to get to the court and the cop pushes him and it's like This is the pinnacle of his professional career. And momentarily, it's being taken away from him by this clown cop. So if we can flip that negative energy and turn that into positive support for the man, the myth, the legend that is Masai Ujiri, we're going to do that. And of course, anybody watching that video should be able to come to to that same conclusion. But there are going to be other clowns that feel a different way or are going to continue to try to make excuses. Let's not entertain them. It's not even worth your breath. People who want to have an actual conversation, maybe, I could hear you out. But at this point, I think there's a lot of people just trying to create conflict or create drama and not really here for that that side of the conversation or that side of the argument. But I will say this much. For people who might not fully understand it or fully grasp what some people feel when they see that video. Masai Ujiri in the sports world in Canada is probably the highest profiled black man there is in the country, in his field, in sports, in Canada, okay? So if that man in his suit at the pinnacle of his career is somehow reduced to just being in the eyes of some cop, just some black guy trying to force his way by me. There's part of me as a black man that looks at that and see and says, what chance do I have? Think about that for a second, because all I could think of is what if that interaction happens and it's not in an arena at a basketball game? What if that interaction happens on the street? 
How differently does that go? And that's scary. And I only bring this up because there might be people who watch the video and they think they get it, but there's another level to some people when they see that video and the level that it hits other people when they see that. Because that's all I could think of. I'm like, that's a man who is at the top of his game in his suit. What chance do I have? Right? How do you really see me? How do you really judge me when you see me? And that part's scary. And the other part that I want to commend Masai for before we wrap up here is the composure that you have to have to remain as calm as possible in that moment to have that response that he did, not only in that moment where you're trying to get to the court to celebrate with the rest of your organization, but the composure he had to not respond until he was pushed, what, a second time by the cop and swore at by the cop as well. The composure that he showed in that moment, I strive for in my own life and how to deal in in similar situations. I strive for that. And all that we've seen from Masai Jiri so far since in his time in Toronto has been just a level of professionalism that we all should strive for. And in that moment, man, I, I applaud him for that. And I also applaud him for how he's handled the situation since. Because all he said was, hey, the truth will come out. And he didn't, he still remained professional, still remained calm and cool in every interview you've seen him do to date. And wow, I applaud, I salute that man, Masai Ujiri. And we big him up here for basketball reasons all the time for what he brought to this city. But as a man and as a black man, especially from me to you, I salute you, my dude. Whatever that means. I'm, I'm just a dude with a podcast that works in sports that looks up to a man like that that I can only emulate to have just an ounce of the composure and professionalism that that man has. Boom, blast.